This is a new series, um, Better Than RSS. I don't know if I like the name or not. We'll probably come up with something catchy like Russinator. Like RSSinator. Or uh, who cares? Anyway, I'm just going to basically read the RSS feeds that I get every day and talk about them a little bit so we can start a conversation on RaiseTheWorld.com. I subscribe to many interesting RSS feeds. All right, so first thing that's interesting that's happening in the world today uh, the NVIDIA CEO, Jensen Hong, he has called Intel a fat liar. That's what he said. Well, not in those words. It's my words coming out of his mouth. How does that work? Um, yeah, because you know Intel's been saying that, in, that NVIDIA's been developing an x86 CPU, and they're yelling about they're not allowed to do that. How can they do that? And then there's all these blog articles all over the place, and it's like, oh, and NVIDIA's making a CPU. Well, he said... Uh, Quote, unquote, if we have such a product, I haven't found it yet. He says it's not that important right now. So he's denying that they are making an x86 processor. And then he had a bunch of other stuff to say about other NVIDIA stuff that's not as much fun. Uh, NEC, this is kind of cool. Uh, they unveiled a 43-inch curved um, monitor or panel, I suppose you call it. It's ridiculous. Resolution is 2880 by 900 and it's only going to cost you about eight thousand dollars I don't know if you, you might have seen the video I did from uh, CES uh, I guess it was 2000, 2008 or seven. I don't know anyway uh, Alienware had their curved monitor there I don't believe that ever hit the market it was like a prototype I don't know if this one's ever going to hit the uh, market either because eight thousand dollars I mean even though it's cool for that kind of money I'd have like fifty monitors and I'd mount them on a wall Curved monitor is kind of cool. Then games have to start supporting that weird resolution, 2880 by 900. It's a bit ridiculous. Intel has released a uh, new i7 part. This one is 3.3 gigahertz. It's the i7-975. It's got all their technology, the smart business. What is it called? Yeah, the speed step, um, virtualization. It's basically going to be their uh, probably their fastest i7 CPU. Another thing that's nice, um, the multiplier is unlocked, so even though there's some automatic uh, overclocking technologies, or I suppose it's dynamic overclocking, whatever they call it. What, what do they call it? They call it um, the, uh, the Turbo Boost Auto Clocking Technologies. I'm not a big fan of uh, marketing jargon, so Turbo Boost Auto Clocking Technologies that basically if your system's not using a lot of resources, it'll clock it down. And if you're playing a game, it'll speed it up a little bit. But um, if you want to do that manually, you can go into the BIOS, unlock multiplier, and overclock the hell out of this thing. 3.3 uh, is uh, nice and fast. And uh, according to overclock3d.net, if you buy them uh, a thousand at a time, you're going to be paying a thousand bucks per per chip. If you buy or per, per CPU, if you buy them one at a time. Who knows what the price is going to be? Probably thirteen, fourteen hundred. It's going to be expensive. I, I'm putting my money around the fourteen hundred mark uh, when it hits retail very soon. Uh, what else is new in the world today? Um, some some smart dudes at uh, Berkeley. There's always crazy stuff going on at Berkeley University. Some dudes over there they developed a uh, new storage technology. Um, it's basically the highest density memory ever created. Uh, they're calling it nanoscale ultra density memory and uh, I'm, I'm going to put an, uh, a link to this article it's another one I picked up on overclock3d.net about how this works but uh, because it, it's too in depth to go into uh, right here but it's pretty freaking interesting and another thing that's interesting about their claims and not only is it the, the highest density memory ever created um, they're also claiming that, that you're going to be able to retain this memory for a billion years so the life cycle of this uh, new memory technology is a billion years. They've tested this. They've tested it. They sent monkeys on a spaceship back in time to a billion years ago, and they just showed up, very old monkeys, with the test results. And they, it worked. Mm -hmm. This is all true. Uh, Best Buy is offering users who purchase a computer after June 26 with Windows Vista in all its various forms, business, home premium, basic. Uh, they're offering them a free upgrade to Windows 7 
And it's interesting, Gizmodo got a hold of the memo, and in the memo, uh, the internal memo in, from Best Buy, they referred to Vista as a broken operating system. So the, that's kind of funny the way they looked at it uh, from an internal standpoint. I don't think that memo was supposed to, supposed to get out to the public, but uh, some jerk face at uh, Best Buy ended up leaking the memo out. So anyway, now we know that uh, we're going to be able to get a free upgrade. I'm not sure if, uh, if, you know, if you buy a Windows Vista Home Premium, if you're going to get the equivalent version of uh, Windows 7. But we'll, we'll have to wait and see about that. Um, other than that, there's, wow, there's way too much stuff going on. Everyone wants, to, wants me to talk about the iPhone 3G, but I'm not going to. In fact, I got a, an email from Herman that said, please, 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 can someone write an article about the iPhone? And I said, no, just flat out no. He's like, well, we're going to get a lot of hits. And I was like, no. So this is me not talking about that refuse that, that uh, people call the iPhone. What a terrible ending.